Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Proving Grounds Grandmaster. So as you can see, I'm doing it on Night Stalker. All aspects and fragments, mods and weapons are shown at the start of the video here. I'm using New Purpose, I'm using Skyburners and the Cataclysmic. Uh, Revitalizing Blast. I, no, I had Radiant Orbs on. You probably could have put something else on there because I didn't, I didn't actually use... Uh, Radiant orbs because I didn't have anything on to create orbs. This was a run that I was going to work with, but I ended up not doing it. Uh, so you could have uh, the thing that increases the revitalizing blast. I can't remember what it's called. The mod it from the artifact. So the reason I chose to do this on Night Stalker is A, I wanted to do a safe run. I, I didn't want to be taking chances or, you know, I feel like. Uh, Solar's really good. It allows you to be a lot more aggressive than, than I managed to be in this video, but uh, as soon as it... Really, it's not the Solar subclass that allows you to be aggressive. It's Classy Restoration. Classy Restoration allows you to be aggressive, and that goes away in like three, four weeks. This run will still be good when it goes, because it uses... Apart from Revitalizing Blast, it doesn't really use a lot that... that uh, Weapons, obviously they change, but I mean you could you could just re-equip weapons that support this this GM and all the mods, all the, the basically it's the invis that's the strong thing here. Now this run was a little bit longer than I would have liked. Uh, there came a point where I was just like, I just want to get it done. I started this before I went on holiday. I'd never sold this Grandmaster, had a lot of kind of weird things happen. I was doing this live on the stream. Uh, and when I came back, I realized the rum, the, the weapons and what I was using must be really good because I'd seen, a, I'd seen it had already been copied. Uh, different subclass, but still, still a good run though. Congrats. Uh, so basically I'm using Skyburners for a number of reasons. One, it's a full auto solar scout rifle. It shoots, it does more damage against Cabal and it shoots through the Cabal shields. Namely, the boss's shield, but every now and again, at the boss and here, the boss will put down uh, a shield. And it's, it can be it can be uh, dangerous to go inside. It can be dangerous to go inside. Whereas this thing will shoot right through it. Uh, my cataclysmic, I've said this before, uh, my cataclysmic is, uh, has four times the charm and it has... Uh, bait and switch. So if I get if I do damage to a champion uh, with with my other two weapons, the first shot from my cataclysmic will proc. Uh, you see here it will proc bait and switch, which you get nine seconds of additional damage. Uh, four times the charm, hit four crits, you get two back. Now you're gonna have to forgive me. It was the same in the master. I tried to I tried to remember the name of the other solar linear fusion rifle, the legendary one from season of uh, season of uh, the. It wasn't season of the ribbon. See, what was the, it? Was the the one the, where uh, what's his name came back? Season of the hunt. It was season of the hunt. It was the linear fusion rifle that you could get from Crow. Uh, it, it can roll with uh, high impact reserves and stuff, so it, it's still a pretty good one. So you can use that as well. Uh, I have 100 resilience, 100 mobility. They were the things I was mostly going for. Uh, as, as I say, all the, the fragments and aspects and what have you are shown. But the, I, th I think the exotic piece of armor that I'm using, go, there's three you can use. You can use the Omni Oculus. You can use uh, what I'm using, the Sixth Coyote, or you can use the Exotic Helmet, and the name will come back to me, Graviton Forfeit. And that I was going to use the Graviton because not only does it increase your uh, your melee uh, recharge when you're in this, so basically we're, we're doing the, the, the slam thing. <laughs> my, my brain's just gone today. I don't know where it's gone. Uh... You're using the, it's like the stasis slam to go invisible. Uh, that will recharge faster when you're invisible using Graviton Lance. Graviton Forfeit, sorry. But the other kind of cool thing about Graviton Forfeit is it basically, regardless of what you've got, it will give you, when you're invis, 100% recovery. Which, which is no, nothing to be sniffed at. So... What I've done so far on this run is basically I'm clearing out enemies that are in front of me. 
Now, I don't skip the enemies. I know that there's a lot of people that would just run up the side here and that makes it all quicker and stuff. But then what you've got is you've got ads firing at you from behind and in front. I don't like that. I prefer to know that there's nothing behind me. I've cleared all of that. Watch out for the turrets. You have in this area, you have five, I think. So you've got one right at the start up on the box on the right. And then you've got one further up to the right of the first barrier champion. You've got one on the rocks to the left of the barrier champion. In fact, you've got six. So that's the three down there. And you've got three up here. You've got this one right at us now. And then you've got two uh, to the right of where we are now at the back to the right on the boxes. I took them out before I even got up here. So once you take those turrets out, the, the main thing you have to watch out for in here, which kind of might seem a little bit strange really for a GM that this is the thing that I'm suggesting you watch out for as uh, the, the enemies throwing uh, their grenades they've got wrist loaded grenade launchers if one of them sticks you on this solar burn man it, it, it could, the run could be over so be very very careful when it comes to uh, when, it, when, when it comes to the minute you hear that grenade getting fired at you move even if it's to the side, because they don't track. I'm trying to get my bait and switch, but I can't because I'm getting hit. So I wait. It's not so much the bait and switch, it's this. The four times the charm, and then I've done it again because I never reloaded. Whenever, you, If you've got this, make sure you reload. And, and, and you see there, I, I actually took a chance there. Because I've missed a shot there. I can... I, I can uh, I can finish them. What, the reason why I like to stay where I am here is because... So we'll have a look. We'll see what the boss is. Right. So we need to get his health a little bit down to halfway. So it's... You see, we've got... Uh, he's, you'll see there. we've He's got three uh, health bars. So we're just going to get what bait and switch on here. See if we can get four. There we go. We've got what four and now he's... Now he's in Viz. He's got three health bars to get him to, to, you know, for the next wave of ads to come out. I'm just going to use my super to clear some of these. It never actually cleared as many as it normally does, but uh, if I stop the champion, it clears most of those. That revitalizing blast can be really good. Just if you're doing any sort of nightfalls, uh, whether it's a master, whether it's a GM, we'll just get the bait and switch on here. If you're doing any nightfalls and you've got champions, multiple champions together, then uh, that revitalizing blast, there's a couple of places where there's like two or three champions together. Uh, it is super good because it changes, it, the explosional damage from one champion to another and then you can keep switching between which one you break and every time you break, you're gonna damage the other champion. Now, in GM's solo, it's, uh, there's, I mean, it works, but it's not so great. Uh, but it's, it's another little piece of information. So this boss, uh, it's, it's been widely known that this boss has no stomp mechanic. So you can actually go and stand right up at him and just melee him or hit fire or do whatever it is you want to do. As you've seen there, if you've got the heavy, I, I think I've only got nine now, but if you've got the heavy, uh, just, just kill him. <laughs> just just, just get rid of him because I, if I hadn't I'd still be standing in front of him you can run right up to him I'd still be standing right in front of him hip firing and my scout rifle trying to kill him uh, so that is that is the first section out of the way we're going to make our way up here and uh, there's a couple of enemies up here but the, what I think is the, the probably the make and break of this GM uh, is the tank room. And the first phase is kind of eh, still not easy, I wouldn't say, but easier. It's when the tanks come out that it gets a little bit uh, trickier. And hopefully, hopefully this will help the way that I'm doing this. This will really help uh, in, in, in getting, getting you guys the clear. Got another brick of heavy here. So we're just going to make our way up to the teleporter and what we're going to do is once we get up top, we're going to uh, 
we're going to start start clearing out ads from up top. So once you've reached the top here, uh, we're going to stay up here just for now. And there's going to be four enemies that are going to spawn in. There's going to be two legionaries uh, and two uh, phalanxes. You need to kill at least one of them. There's an exploding barrel here that can help, especially with the legionaries. And once you kill one of, at least one of them, I like, if you can kill all of them, that's brilliant. Then the two interceptors will appear. This will bring, it will bring out all the ads in this first phase. But the, the, the two interceptors appear. And you can take them from up here. Now there is actually three interceptors in this room. Uh, one of them stays at the back, and as long as you're against the back wall, it won't it won't shoot at you. They do massive damage to you because they're solar and explosive, so uh, you don't really want to be uh, aggroing them. And as you can see there, uh, taking them out isn't too much of a hassle from up here. Uh, now, this left one, this right one, sorry. Normally he kind of pokes the side of his interceptor. The part I'm shooting now, he kind of pokes it out to the left. If you're struggling to get an angle on him, you do want to shoot the little overhang bit on the left of the interceptor. Just back away until you can, you know, change the angle, make the angle less acute. Uh, it seems more acute to you because you're backing away, but uh, you really want to make it less acute. So when you're up here, you can see exactly what ads you've got. Now, you will always have uh, ma majors down here. These these are the majors here. So, uh, as you can see, I've done my little my little hunter slam to get uh, my invis. And then I dodged to get my, you know, if you dodge near an enemy, you get your, you get your invis back. So, I want to take, I want to take, you see, I've took that honor guard out. Now I'm just slamming, I'm looking for an enemy to dodge near, so I get my smoke back, and then I'm going to switch sides. Now, the best thing to do, you'll see there, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite wary of where I am at the moment. So I'm going to use my scout rifle. I'm in cover, I know I'm going to get pushed in a second. So I will just use my smoke, and then I'll use this honor guard over here. Be careful that you don't run in front of the shots. They're not shooting at you, but they're shooting at where they thought you were. Don't run in front of the shots uh, because inadvertently you can end up getting killed because the, you know, and it's not really because of of of. And we'll just kill him here. That's the two honor guards. You can end up getting killed because you've ran in front of their shots as opposed to them shooting at you. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of clear out any of the trash mobs. We don't want, because like I said in the first section, one of the most dangerous things, really, is them throwing their kind of wrist-loaded wrist uh, grenades. So what we want to do is we want to clear any of the, the overhanging ads. There's two champions in the center. Uh, there's still a whole heap of of uh, smaller ads. We're also going to get uh, some dogs. You see there I got pushed. But I can shoot them from underneath. Uh, we're going to get some dogs as well. You have to be mindful of the dogs. You actually, it, they are not so bad because you can hear them. You can hear them growling. And we're just looking to see. We'll see if we can get a break. Uh, and now I'm going to it's, it's I, I, I disengaged there. I've only got one heavy now, but I disengaged because it's not a good idea to really go after these champions while there still adds up. Because the minute you start to do good damage to one of the champions, the rest of the adds will come after you. So I can see there, I've took out another legionary. I'll break his shield, but I think actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to really get in on this champion i'm still trying to keep him broke but the other champion walked in front of him we got we got the break which is good i'm just just keeping myself my pulse rifle out and then i had to stop because he walked behind cover and i'll get a double break and this is what i was talking about about when you get champions that are close together see if i can take down that guy there and still get the break 
it's not it's not working because they're, they're blocking each other now the dogs are out now it's cool that dogs are out this this is what i was saying it nearly always happens you just get into dealing damage to the champions and the dogs come out now luckily i'll just i will just burn my uh burn my uh my smoke invisibility by slamming to get it when I say slam, it's hold, obviously it's hold the red button, whatever your dodge is, if you jump up and hold the dodge button, so now I just miss that crit. No, I'll just have to break him again. I thought I would have got the explosive effect, which I didn't. I think, if I remember correctly, because I'd, I'd done this run a couple of days ago, I started working this run out about two weeks ago, uh, and, you know... I wasn't sure whether this is what I was going to stick with, and then I noticed people had used the exact weapon loadout that I'd used recently, like, after I'd done it, uh, when I was away on holiday. So I figured, oh, well, it must work. Uh, and, and it does. The Pulse Rifle has adaptive munitions, as I've already, I've already spoke about in previous videos. It, it's very good, because adaptive munitions does work with champions. Now... I kind of lucked out here a little bit because I don't know what this champion was thinking about. I'm just going to use the last of my heavy. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking about because it was like he thought he could kill me before I could kill him. Not if you're going to push me. Each section of this tank room, I'll just slam so I can get up here and see if there's any heavy. There is. What we got? Seven. I'll dodge next to the interceptor. Now, it was after I'd done that dodge that I realised I took a major chance there because the interceptor could randomly have fired. You know? Now what we're doing is we've took all the champions, I'm just scoping the area. Make sure you take out, especially the back section, take out all the exploding barrels during this point. You don't want any explosive barrels lying about. I'm just checking for heavy because a shot, a random shot could explode the barrel which could kill you. So make sure you clear all those. So the first thing you want to do in this first section is take out the snipers. There's a there's a barrel there. Then start clearing the trash mobs. This is when you drop down into the room. From up top, you're going to take down one of the red bars, at least one, as many as you can, but at least one to get the ads out, and then take the two interceptors. Then you're going to drop down using your invisibility slam. Make your way to one side, take a sniper, and then move. Because the minute you fire, your invisibility goes, and then you're you're exposed, so the ads will come to where they last saw you. Now what we're doing, and then what you're doing is you're taking all the trash mobs, then the two champions, then this guy. And this will bring out the next set of ads, and this is where this is the meat and meat of this meat of this GM really is the tank section. And I'll show you exactly how we're gonna do that as soon as the tanks come out. So as soon as you take out that interceptor, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to have snipers that are going to come out. We want to take both the snipers and then what you want to do is get over to one of the sides. So I'm using my slam here. Now I'm, I'm looking for an ad uh, to dodge, which will extend my invisibility. It'll allow me to get back into cover. And then we can start doing damage to the tanks. Now, it, there is a bit of a rhythm here see there I've got three shots on there and now I'm gonna move there is a little bit of a rhythm that was no it, that goes to show what I was saying earlier that was I'm just now because uh, I'm being you know I'm being shot at uh, I'm just gonna slam could have died there because of my jumping uh, I panicked a little bit because the, one of the tanks is firing in the center when we get back up top, I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing. So, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be moving between left and right, getting the tanks to focus on one side. If the tanks focus on one side, then we don't want them focusing here. Because if they focus here, uh, then it's a little bit dangerous when you're trying to get in and out here. Now, I think at this point in the video, I think I went to the toilet. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this gives me a little bit of a chance to talk about the exact strategy. So we took the snipers out. So we've got the two tanks, we've got some elites, we've got two champions, and a whole bunch of ads. By coming here where we are now, we are going to draw a v constantly. We're going to draw the trash mobs here. The, the, the legionaries, the phalanxes, and we're going to get dogs. We're going to be able to take a few of those enemies from up here. What it allows us to do is just be chill, and you'll see how chill it is after this. Uh, there's an ad down there throwing... Uh, there's two actually throwing the grenades that I said we needed to watch out for. They're just throwing them up here. I'll just And there's a champion. Now, I've seen people do this where they take a champion just to clear this... Say, I don't bother taking any of those champions because if you take the champions now, you're gonna have to take more when when uh, you're gonna have to take more when the the tanks are dead. So that each champion is linked to a tank, and it seems like if you take a, a champion before you take a tank, then when you t eventually kill the tank, you get another champion. So what you can do when you're up here, I'm just looking to see if there's any more ads I can take while I'm up here. And what we'll do is we'll do we'll, we'll slam out. Now because because the tanks haven't seen us, I'm just jumping over the other side. Can't get shot on anything. I'm just see, making sure that when the tanks when the tanks uh, you see there, and I'll dodge get my my smoke back. And what I'm gonna what I could do, I'm gonna just get some more shots on this tank. I just want to. Um, get out of there quickly. What I want to do is I want to get back up, but I want the tank to focus. I want both of them to focus on that side. These ads, these are the nightmares. The, these ads are the ones that make the run. Not these ones in specifically, but it's the red bar ads because there's, there's quite a few of them. And you can be trying to move from left to right, right to left, whatever. And there could be ads just standing in the places where you want to deal damage from. So by constantly coming back up here, you can draw the ads because they'll be attracted half the time to your jump. So there we go. We've got a decent amount of... Uh, see, we've got dogs out now. We've got a decent amount of heavy from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slam again and then get my dodge on here. Now you see what you could see from over the other side. Uh, we're just going to see if we can take out some of these dogs. Uh, both the tanks were firing at, where, at, at the last place they seen me. So that's two of the dogs gone. So now I want the tanks to fire back over here. So I'll see if I can... Three. And I decided to just go after this tank. Three shots on each leg. So, just a little thing about the... See there, I could have... Again, could have died from being greedy. I think that might be the last time I get in trouble like that. Just from being greedy with a tank. Uh, three three shots count, uh, on a leg. Now, you, you might have seen this. If you, count, if, if you destroy the front legs, because the legs are the crit points, if you destroy the front leg, uh, what happens is you're left in a position where you have to break all four legs. So I always start with one of the back legs, either right or left. And once you do that, uh, well, if you can take a back leg to start with, then what, if you destroy the front leg, the front two, then that's you. Uh, so we'll slam, go back down, see if we can dodge next to this, this uh, red bar, get well smoke back, and I'll just... I'll just... Uh, Trying to see where the other... There's the tank. I want the tank to focus on a side. Now, if the tank doesn't see you... See, he, he hasn't seen me. Uh, he won't fire. He'll, he'll continue to fire where he was. Now, there is a thing you can do. I'm just going to go back up. Just trying to stay safe. There is a... Th if I can get back up. There is a thing you can do to stay safe. Where... See, uh, the reason I went back up is because there's a whole bunch of ads there. And we'll just take him. And that's that's that gold. Uh, what you can do 
as uh, you can uh, you can kind of get to a side once you've got the tra the, the mobs down. What you can do is. As long as you, the, the tank can't see you, if you can get an angle on the tank and the tank can't see you, you can just fire away as normal and you're gold. You know? But it's it's it can be quite difficult to do that, obviously with all the ads still up. So I know that the, the tank is firing over here, so I want to change his, his angle. Two. I only managed to get two shots on. So what I'm, I'll move back over here. There's a champion. Use him to get my smoke back. I've got two more shots. So after I fire these two shots, I'll just throw my grenade, smoke, and then dodge to get my smoke back. All the ads are moving up to where we are now. Now for some reason that keep it kept doing it to me during this run. I would I would jump and not seem to get any purchase. Normally, it's really easy to get to get back up here. It's not it's not a really tricky thing to get back up here. But now, what I'm looking for is to kill some of these smaller ads, because no, I see I can go back down and see where everything is. There's a, an ad over there. There's a, a red bar ad in the middle, an elite. So we'll just kill him. Now I've got two dodges. I'm going to dodge once just to get my invis, and I'll dodge a second time, and that gets me my smoke back. Every time I feel like I'm being pushed, see, it's really easy to get back up there. Every time I feel like I'm getting pushed, I, I, I can just come back up here and just kind of chill, assess the area. I can use the front glass to, to, to go around and assess the area. Uh, I know the champion's going to be there. The tank is firing over this side, and there's heavy. I've just noticed that there's a brick of heavy. Now what I can do is go over the other side, which now there's there's multiple ads over there. So I'm gonna use my smoke again. Dodge over by this boy. And now because I allowed myself to become uh visible up in the center of the tank now is firing to where I want to go to. So you see there, the tank now will be firing over at that side. Dodge, get my smoke back. And now straight back up because there's a bunch of ads down here. And every time, <laughs> every other run I've done at this, because I, I literally, I got my backside kicked in here for two streams in a row. Uh, I was trying to do it on Warlock Glow, uh, and it turned out I didn't, I didn't have the same time on Warlock. I didn't enjoy I, I don't like the Warlock this season. Now we can just fire at the back section. There we go. Uh, that was, This was the only time where the ads never all kind of, at one point, all pushed me uh, in the centre. Dodge, get my smoke back. Always want to get my smoke back. Now what's happened is both tanks are down. All the rest of the ads will, will, put, will, will get out of here. Bar these... Uh, honor guards. They they stayed. So I started dealing damage to one, and he ran away. I tried to kill him, but the I, the other one just wasn't having it. So we we'll just get one dodge, get where I'm vis. Try and find out where this honor guard is, because the the same thing will happen. I'll throw a grenade here. And and once I started to damage this one. He, he ran away to the other side. They they normally will run to the back right and left. Uh, and and that, that's kind of the end of the stress, if you like, in this area. The two tanks are the key. Once you take the two tanks down, uh, they are the key to to making this area simple. So the, the really, really the plan for taking them just take him, the explosion should leave him with not much left in it. It's, it was kind of funny, they both seemed to jump in unison. They must have been in a, a real rush to die. Now we're getting to a second set of dogs. Again, uh, I, I heard them before I seen them, so I was prepared. 
and really the hip fire really works well for for the dogs because it applies a burn now now really the only kind of issue here is is the champions hiding what 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 i was finding was happening to me i'm just looking for any red bar ads that might be you know floating about what i noticed what was happening to me here was as soon as i got a decent damage on a champion uh there's another red bar just take him Man, I got decent damage on a champion. They were, they were going to hide, hide in the center. Until I got them to split. You see there? He's ran away. But one's ran to the right. Once I, once I could get them to split, then I managed to have a bit more time. I, I still never, you know, still never got them down really quickly, I don't think. You know, make sure you're reloading whatever you're using to... Obviously, I don't have any heavy, so I'm having to rely on my scout rifle to to uh, deal most of the damage. The fact that that champion came and stood in front of him didn't help when I was trying to break his shield. Now, you see there, when you get them to split, and they stay in, in wherever it is that you've got them to split to, just reload my anti-barrier. Well, if they stick in those sections... Uh, it's much easier to take them down. Much easier. And and when you've done big damage to them, like like kind of what we've done here, they're less inclined to run too far. I mean, they they will run, but they're less inclined. You see that guy there? They are less inclined to run. But uh, this was the problem that I was having. Uh. He'll come back now that he's regened a little bit. And now he's... As long as we can get... So it's worthwhile saying this now, what? Because all we're going to be doing now is just getting the barriers down. What I've noticed, especially with this season, is the inconsistency uh, of damage. I spoke about it in the Master. It seems like this season's mods, they don't know whether they want to work or whether they don't. You'll see during this video, there'll be a ton of times where I won't get the revitalizing blast. And yet, you know, there is no reason why I shouldn't because there's identical times where I fire identically and don't, you know, and get the blast. Uh, overload grenades, even though they fix them, they're still really bad. You know, as proven in the... as proven in the master video that I, that I put up earlier. I, I don't know if, the, if there's a reason for it. Uh, ammo finders. I, I remember speaking a while ago, a long time ago, about how bad it is, or how, how bad it is to fail a run, but not... See, I never got the explosion there. There's no reason why I shouldn't have. Uh, failing a run because you ran out of ammo, never got the explosion again. And sometimes you get the explosion, uh, and I've had it. You can let me know in the comments if you guys have ever had it. Sometimes you get the explosion before before the shield's actually broke. So the explosion happens within their shield, but the shield hasn't broke yet. Ridiculous. So that's the tank room. Just make sure you're taking out trash mobs. The tanks are probably the most dangerous thing in this GM bar, the boss. Remember, you can go back up top uh, and to stay safe. Now we're heading to the next kind of section, which is the last kind of section before the boss, and we'll speak about that as soon as we get there. Now that the tank section is finished, we're going to move on to the next section, which is kind of, it's a two-part thing. You've got to clear some rooms. Once you clear the rooms, you'll be able to pick up orbs. And when you pick the orbs up, you'll come back and slam them or insert them, and that will be this area done. The biggest problem with this area is uh, ad spawns are linked to killing certain enemies, and the ads come pretty thick and fast in certain areas, so... When you first get down here, you're going to have, as you can see, you're going to have an unstoppable, you're going to have an elite enemy, and a bunch of other adds and enemies. Once you pick up the orb, which is here, then you're going to spawn the next set of enemies. 
it's really claustrophobic. I, I, I've never really enjoyed uh, this part, but there's a reason I haven't enjoyed this part. A really big reason is because you can die at this part from rocks, which is nothing you can do about. And it's something I feel like they should fix. So, as you can see, I, I, pop, I popped the super, but the, the unstoppable left. There is, there's always going to be a sniper. And that's not, even though that sniper was running away, he still managed to get a hit on me. Uh, so, what you've got when you first come in here is you've always got uh, the, this guy here. You've got your unstoppable. A uh, couple, of, couple of legionaries over at the other side, and you'll have a sniper. Each of the rooms, because you've got two rooms to go into that are kind of like this. You can see on the left, system overloaded, t uh, zero of two. You're going to have similar sorts of enemies uh, in each of those rooms, but you've got Scorpius turrets. I really took this one kind of slow, this area relatively slowly, because I'm going to be honest, the amount of times I've got here and a rock has killed me, it, you're almost in these areas, you're almost thinking what's the point even if i do a really good run here i could die in these sections jumping across so what i've done is i've picked that orb up that opens the door uh and you'll see the ads start to spawn in now i was hoping that they would come a bit closer to me they didn't i'm firing to see if i can because there's gladiators and the gladiators are they're probably your main kind of worry here so Maybe you've got to jump across. Nope. They just decided to not come out. So I tried to use... I, tr I was trying to use heavy to clear them, but they're just... See, they'll just push, and if they push, and they get those uh, melee attacks on you, it can be really bad. So I dodged to get my invis, and I moved all the way back. See if I could take some of them from range over here. Now... There's a box you can just see there. I'm just aiming at it. I'm shooting at it now. That box, sometimes the gladiators, they decide to just hang fire behind that box. That's why I was firing at it. To see if there was anything there. The hip fire obviously will add burn, even if it just hits the ground. So it would let me know if there were any enemies there. I've got my grenade now. Now, the good thing about the grenade, the vortex grenade, is when it hits them, sometimes it slows them. So I'm just going to put that at the doorway and hope some of these gladiators push through it. They didn't. So, but I managed to get I managed to get a few of them finishable. And even though I got hit, what I noticed was when I was finishing, it's something I haven't really noticed before. I seem to take less damage. Because that normally would put me red bar if I was to get hit there. So it's interesting to know that the finisher adds some sort of... Uh, uh, damage resist. Maybe it was just maybe they couldn't actually get a hit on me because they were hitting their their the other the person that I was. You know that way if you can go into a corner, uh, melee ads can't hit you because they hit the wall before they hit you. Another thing you see there because I got blinded, I couldn't actually see uh, the boss starting to shoot at me. I'm what's going to happen now? I'm going to try and take out some of these. Uh, this is what's going to happen now. I was going to try and take out some of those honoured uh, legionaries. Because if you don't, hopefully I can... I, now, if I break the shield, that should do damage to both of the... See there? If, if those uh, honoured legionaries, they'll just continue to keep throwing those uh, mines, those grenades in here. So, I used the explosion from the boss. The, the, the barrier. And it done damage to both of them. Remember as well uh, to keep reloading whatever weapon you're going to be breaking the barrier down with. And limit yourself. It's something that I didn't do with other champions. But you'll see me do it quite a bit now. Because I can get shots on us. You know, I can isolate the champions now. What I do is once I break the shield of a champion. I time my shots. I'll maybe put five or six shots from my alternate weapon. And switch back to my weapon I'm going to break them with. If if I've switched too early, then I know. So if, if I do six shots with the Skyburn and I switch back to the Pulse Rifle, 
and I'll wait a second or two before the, the, the shield comes back up. If it's six shots I've used, I know I can use seven. You know, it's about finding out timing. Uh, so this is the first room. You know, we've obviously we we done we we started off it in the first you know, the first real room. This is the first room we've had to go into. Uh, there's there'll be three. There's going to be three uh, turrets in here. There's that one we just took out. There's one over to the left, and then there's there's, uh, sorry, there's one up high to the left, and then there's one far right. There's a bunch of kind of smaller trash mobs. Just take out this scorpion turret. There's a champion. Now, I'm just wanting them to put shield up. Now, if I want, I can use my heavy and just get a bunch of shots. Now, I always seem to miss. I have been missing that third shot. And the reason I'm missing it is because the boss is standing up. So the crit point changes, just back away because the the honored legionary is gonna just try and get some crits going there. That's that is the champion down. I never went for the honored legionary because as soon as we take it doesn't matter what other ads are up, when we take that honored legionary, I'm gonna try and take him in a second. Once we take that honored legionary. There's going to be a bunch of ads, including a barrier champion that's going to spawn in behind us. There's also a sniper in the room above. Same place it was in the first room. So I know I'm looking for that turret. There it is. I've just seen its name. There we go. That's all the turrets in that room taken. So now hopefully... Uh, try and get... Try and get this elite out. It always comes out when you don't want them to. Break his shield. That should kill him. And then the, the ads are going to come from here. There's going to be two sets. There's going to be a big set here. So I fired my tether. And what that done with the damage that I'm doing there. It, it just about killed all the enemies. Now we've got these guys. I'll throw a grenade there. And try and get the explosive burn effect going. Now I've dodged to get my smoke back. I'm going up here. Be careful when you go up here because... Just take this sniper. Because going up here... See, there's still ads over the other side. Luckily, uh, because because I moved straight away, he couldn't get shot. He could, you know, he'd already dialed me in with his grenade. He couldn't he couldn't readjust it. Uh, I'm going over here because it's heavy and I might be able to get some shots on these gladiators. I'm always a little bit... Uh, wary of the gladiators because their, their attack is they, gonna be all technical now they've got like a ballistic attack they, they attack with like a, a ballistic energy it's like they, they come at you like really quickly really explosively so sometimes it can be difficult you know I used to do a thing where I used to get them to jump at me and uh, and then take them from a different position but you can't always be... Let's see if I can just get one decent shot. Just to get him to move. Which he didn't. Just put a grenade, see if that... Yep, yeah, grenade landed right on him. Didn't like it, so he's off. So now we're going to go out uh, and take out the rest of the ads. So yeah, I, I used to get them to jump at me and then move out the way. But you can't always be guaranteed that they're going to miss you with that first jump. So we're in the same... We're in the same boat again, depending on what ad you've took with your with your uh, with your tether. So now we've got the honored legionary. We took everything else with the tether, which is cool. I don't mind burning my tether here. You'll probably have noticed in this run I haven't used my super a hell of a lot. Because now I spoke earlier about getting explosions. Uh, from from the, the the mod and sometimes you get the explosion before the shield's even broken and I was oh, it was in the tank room I was talking about it that is that is exactly what I was talking about I got the revitalizing blast which is the mod I got that blast 
uh, and the shield hadn't broke. So there's been there has been times where I've got the revitalizing blast and I've been like, oh cool, and then I've looked and he's, he, the champions went back to full health because I got the revitalizing blast right on the edge of his shield being gone. So you have to be very mindful of that. So this is the second orb. As I say, I, I, I do take it a little bit safe. This whole run has been a little bit safe. I feel took, as I say, probably about 10, 15 minutes longer than I would have liked, but I'd rather be 10, 15 minutes longer and have a repeatable safe strategy because all these classy restoration runs are going to be no good next season. You know, this, this run will be good every season. So... Now we're going to get a whole bunch of ads, so I'm, I got my tether back, so I'm going to use the tether, you see that's all the dogs gone, and I'll just fire it a little bit deeper, see what I can get, throw the grenade, you know, we want to share this big damage, like so, get a, get a break there, I'm, I'm safe here, but I've backed away, and the reason why I've backed away is because sometimes the unstoppable pushes out, so I don't want to be, like, standing there, like, you know, come and get me. So, again, I'm going to show you a little place that you can go to deal damage to. Just put some shots on the, the champion. And we got one for that time. If you're getting damaged, I'll sh uh, you'll see it in a minute here. Uh, there's a place between the blast barrier and where we're standing. Uh, the champion's gone. It's just a little gap. Don't. I'm not sure if I'll be able to eat. Just go and get this heavy. She gave me seven, which was cool. It's just the unstoppable now. There's a little gap, as I say. There's a blast barrier on the right-hand side. Uh, you can just see it there. We're just right next to it. And there's a little gap uh, in between that you can shoot through and shoot right through there if you need to to break a barrier, uh, break the... The champion shields or whatever. So, so the kind of thing here is don't. In in the first room, when you pick up the orb, be careful because. Uh, be careful because that's gonna spawn the first set of ads, and then in the in like the first room you go to, don't kill the elite until you're ready for the next set of ads, which will come in behind you, and and watch out for the rocks, and that will be this section done. And now here we are. We're just heading to the boss room. They must be so here we are, heading up to the boss. Now, I always had a little issue with doing the boss, which was the unstoppable. So the way the boss works is you do a, you know, a bit of damage. Boss then be going to uh, not an immunity phase. It's not a cocoon phase. It just puts a shield up and starts firing these solar bombs out at you, tracking bomb type of things and then you get two unstoppables now the times that I've done this before the unstoppables have either teleported uh, both come at me at the exact same time at speed there's been quite a few things that happen so I, I, I was I did play this really safe uh, so what I do is uh, activate the boss and then I fire my super right off the bat. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get the first wave of ads. Now this happens at the start of every damage phase you'll get a wave of these guys and you'll see here the minute I see that I'm starting to get hit a bit too much from my liking I will go invis which automatically stops them shooting at me which is cool. Now the other things that happen so that's this boss the damage is kind of spread out between these guys uh, these uh, Cabal, I'll just go and pick up some of this, these Cabal, the boss, the boss has two attacks, you can see one now, a big Void Cannon attack, and then he will also, at different times, he will start firing out these tracking solar nodules, whatever you want to call them, uh, now, our Scout Rifle or Sky Bonners can kill, can destroy those solar bombs, I think in one shot. Now, what, I, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find a place where I can shoot the boss without the boss shooting me. And these blast barriers are the place I found to do it. Now, 
what I'm going to do, you see here, it's not ideal. I think you can back away a little bit. The other side's really good for it as well. The boss will find a position where he will start shooting at you. And what you ideally don't want is kind of where he is now. I'm just putting some heavy. See, I've got the four shots on him. Now, we, uh, we're getting the solar bombs. Now, what I've done there, the reason why I went invis is because I wanted to see if those bombs would track me when I'm in this. Because I'd heard they didn't. And you could quite plainly see they do. Now, I'm not sure if it's the, the ground slam invisibility, the, the fragment on the Void Hunter that allows you to do the, 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 the jump in invis. I'm not sure if they track just when you're doing that or whether they track constantly. Now, this little runway that we're running underneath... If he's firing his bombs, you can't you can't really go through there, because if you do, uh, that that place will burn you. You'll see here where I've settled on. I can I can get shots on him from here, and he'll just keep hitting that front bit in front of us, uh, the front of that kind of corridor, that tunnel. So what happens is, come here. He'll come out go wherever he's going to go, I hit him with my super, done enough damage to get the first wave of Cabal out. Three, uh, two two uh, legionaries and a phalanx on each side. Then we start doing damage at one point, at some point, you'll see how much damage we've done on him so you can get an idea of it yourself once we can get a crit shot on him. It's, I'm not sure if it's halfway through his first health bar, no, not quite. He'll start throwing these solar bombs again. He throws about 10 to 10. I don't know. Would ha you'd have to count them here. It's like 10 or 12 sets of them. And then he won't fire anymore. Our job now is to whittle him down until he's first health bar. Once we get... Then he'll go into his... Uh, shielded phase. He's not shielded, but he goes inside his shield. Then we get our first set of champions. Now, it was the champions I was worried about. You see how I was going to run through there, but I wasn't sure if there'd be another bomb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my invisibility and I'll run around the front while I'm invisible because he can't see me. Now, I have used my smoke, but it's all good. So what I'm going to do here is, remember I was saying over the other side, I can kind of head glitch a little bit, but I've also got the shield in front of me. Make sure you're not that close to the shield that the splash damage hits you and don't come out too far to the left and you can just whittle them away see now I'm doing crit damage I'm not wanting to burn too much uh, see I keep moving back in just to make sure I'm safe where I am he can't hit me with a direct shot he just can't hit me and I can just keep whittling them down the reason for whittling them down and not using my heavy will become apparent because I don't drop that much heavy in this run. And the boss section probably took longer because the last phase, I don't have any heavy ammo, so I'm having to do all my damage with supers and and skyburners, which you'll see here, skyburners does a fair bit. If you can if you can really get uh get a rhythm going, get some crits going, you see there it is it is doing the damage on him. Once we take his first health bar, he'll go into the middle, put a big shield up. Uh, start firing solar bombs out, but then we get two unstoppables, one from this side and one from the other side. That was my worry, was the unstoppables, because I was worried, because the first time I ever got here, they teleported on me. And I was like, man, it takes long enough to get here, I don't, I don't want that kind of malarkey happening. So you can see there, he's, he's, he's immune until those unstoppables, I believe, go down. So now we've got bait and switch. Now I had to disengage because he was hitting me. I waited for the bombs to get thrown and then I moved to the other side because this place isn't burning. If you're worried about getting hit, uh, you see, you, see, you can see this kind of trim on the left hand side, this lit up trim. Uh, it will like flash. And when you see it, and when it flashes, he's fired another set of bombs. If you're worried about running through that section, even when it's on fire, if you jump, especially if you're on the hunter and you jump close to the ceiling, keep your keep your double jump close to the ceiling, 
there's a point so high in, in, in that, that corridor where you will not get burnt. So if you do that, you can jump through there. But I, I, I'm, honestly, I wouldn't risk it. If you're at this point, I wouldn't risk it. Now, where we are now, the bombs can't... Those solar tracking bombs can't hit us. Uh, but the Unstoppables aren't coming. So I'm going to have to go hunting them down. So we'll go around the front. I'll use my dodge. There we go. They're both just standing there. Now that I've came around, one of them's run away. So what we're going to do is stop this guy. I'm not going to go for the bait and switch. I'm just going to put four shots on. And then I go invis again. Dodge to get dodge to get my my smoke back and I'm just going to move around the other side and just hang fire now if I remember correctly they don't come around this side this, it literally became an exercise in me just like chilling here and because I waited so long which is, which is I'm okay with it I'm okay with the fact that I waited so long I think by the time I took the unstoppables out the boss had stopped firing his these bombs, because I keep calling them bombs. You know what I mean. Those, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, they are a constant pain in the backside. That at, at the like the delicate points of this boss fight, they'll keep they, they'll keep firing. So, again, we smoke. He now has stopped firing. And now we'll go around here and try and. Get cover from the boss. Now they want to go all the way around. And I've stopped them. Get the four shots. Couldn't because I hadn't reloaded. So now he will come round. But unfortunately, sometimes, as you see there, I can go through the middle because I can wait here, hopefully. Stop him when he comes round. You never know where he's going to be coming from. Uh the boss was lobbing those shots in because he's now in his bubble he can move around in there there he is where is he going who knows I don't even think he knows now the boss is it, it just it was just like sheer like bad luck that wherever I went the unstoppable went the other way and the boss would like manage to hit me from wherever he was I really, really, really had an issue with the Unstoppables because they're so unpredictable. So now I've got to go and find them. There he is. I'll dodge. He's coming back. We'll just take him from back here. Right, and the boss is looking at us. I've backed right up. So I'm just, I'm not going to use any heavy. There we go. So now that we've done that, the boss, we should be able to take down this mini shield. Now, what's going to happen? Rinse and repeat. This is the end of what I would call the first phase. It's, it's the way that I'll tag it in the, in the video. Uh, what will happen now is the boss will, again, settle on a place to do his damage. But now, we're going to get more bombs and we're going to get adds. So that, that's kind of the first phase. We'll toss a grenade there. This is the start of the second phase, which will work exactly the same as the first phase. The boss will settle on a place where he can do damage. Uh, we get where adds. You see here, one the, as I was saying at the start of the run, that the sky burners can, can actually take out those solar bombs in one hit. Just hit fire and see if we can get some burn and see if we can kill that legionary. So even if even if we are putting that that position, we're looking up there because even if we're putting that position, we can shoot the solar bombs. I was looking up there because that's where the ads will always run to. If they can't get you, they'll always run to that centre part. There's two ads there. Dodge go invis. Can't really go too far out because the bombs are getting thrown. So they'll probably be, we took out one phalanx, there'll be another phalanx up there. You can see him just about clip him. And what I was trying to do, again, time consuming, some people might say, I'm not I'm not going for a speed run. The problem with speed runs is they're not repeatable most of the time. Because, you know, in your in your in your haste 
anything can happen. I'd rather know and plan and go, yep, this is how this works every time. You know? So, again, I've decided probably better to just wait. Uh, I'll fire my Supratum. Does a bit of damage. See if I can land a grenade on him. Which I didn't. Look, I was really bad with, uh, and I noticed it the other day. I, I used to be with the Warlock, I just had it timed perfectly uh, for throwing grenades. But with the Hunter, I'm not so good at throwing those Vortex grenades. Right, so we've come round here. Uh, the boss is now firing at the other side. So the idea is now to find a position. You see there, we're just pinging crits. We can, where he is, we can just... No, I'm hopeful that that gap is too small uh, for him to to be able to ping one of those shots through it. We managed to get with four shots. Uh, I'm again mindful because of the next, you know, at the end of this phase, we're going to have our last two unstoppables and then, you know, break the boss's shield because he, now he won't go at the mid. He's going to go up top behind us. So we're going to go to the other side. The unstoppables will still come from the same place. It's just because the boss is going to be firing those solar bombs. Those solar bombs are going to get fired right on top of us, where we are here. So even with, and as far as I'm aware, even with classy restoration, uh, the only things that can actually kill you are... Uh, the tanks in the tank room. That's such a bad nade. I can even see that now. Did it happen? I never happened. That nade went right over his head, I believe. Uh, classy restoration will save you from everything except for the boss's solar bombs and the tank. So I, I don't really want to be standing here when he starts throwing those solar bombs. You need to... So in the first phase... You can take the unstoppables and everything here, where we are now. Second phase, when the boss moves on top of where we, to the left of where we are, that little tunnel we've been running under, he'll go on top of that. When he goes up there, we switch and go down the other side. The bombs can't track us. If, and I'll show you when we get down there, two blast barriers. We need to stay behind them, close to the back wall. And if we do, he will, every now and again, He'll throw like a speculative void cannon shot out, but you are, it's about safe as you're going to be. And as long as the, the unstoppables don't glitch, which they can anywhere here, uh, they can teleport and it's, then it becomes a nightmare. But with, with their invis, we should be able to do, you'll see the shield come up on there, the shield's up on the boss, we'll just do a little dodge. I'm just going to have a little look as we're running down, I can't see any heavy. So, right down past here, right down here. Now, the solar bombs can't track us here, but every now and again, he will throw a cannon shot down here. So, we're looking for the unstoppables. There's one. We'll stop him up there. There's a second one. I'm going to put four shots on him. And I missed. And now they're going to push. So, we want to stop this guy again. And we're just going to get four shots on him. Which gives us to back see the, the void cannon shots are getting shot because i'm firing at the unstoppables dodge invis no no they're both on top of me this was what i didn't want so i'm going to finish this guy and then dodge go invis again so now i've managed to push him away from my little little spot so i've seen the cannon shot coming in so i decided to move and then dodge go invis as long as you go dot, th th this is this is what you're looking for. See how the boss is now firing his cannon shot at me. Fire my last two. What you're looking for is the dodge invis before the unstoppable readies his shot. Because if he readies his shot, you know he kind of hunches down and, and then blasts that solar blast out. It won't kill you immediately, but the burn will. So you do not want to have to deal with that. So make sure you dodge and go invis before he readies his shot. Uh, and you can stay down here, even with both of them, as long as, again, if you're doing the invis thing, 
try and get behind them when you need to go invis because they can't turn and ready their shot before you can, you know, before you can do anything. So, that, we're almost at the end of the second phase. And what we're looking at now, as you'll see here, I'm going to put some shots, not too many. I can break, and you would have seen it all the way through this, uh, so I'm not saying anything new, that you can break, You can. there's a generator in the middle of the bubble. That's what you're breaking, essentially. And what we want, we want to wait for the boss to finish his, uh, his bomb throwing exploits before we break the shield. So what I've decided to do, I don't want to be all the way down there uh, when it, when I break his shield. Because we've already seen that the those bombs can track you when you're in vis and you can't outrun them. So you want to be up here where the cover is. Yeah, tele teleporting bosses. Right, so the boss has a stomp mechanic. This boss has a stomp mechanic. The first mini boss doesn't, but this one does. So you see there, we're going to break his shield. What we're going to do, you don't want to be too in the bubble when uh, you. I'm going to just fire my. I'm going to just going to burn my super and at least clear some of those enemies. And as you can see there, or we'll dodge, go in vis. I put a grenade. The great thing about that grenade was those because I'd fired the super. Oh, let's get out of here. Because I'd fired the super. And take out the last ad. Uh, there might be another phalanx actually up top. So I dodge, go in vis. Now, I'm running through here at the moment. It's kind of, uh, kind of weird. I'm running through here at the moment, but the minute he stops firing his bombs is when I, you know, I'm going to start running. See? He fired his bombs there. You see it lit up? But because I jumped high enough, uh, they never, I never got any burns. See? Because I'm hitting the top. But you've seen... As long as I'm hit, my head's hitting the ceiling, like I'm jumping quite high. Uh, you can see I've got heavy there. Dodge. Now this is going to be the way I'm going to go, right? So now we're in the, the final phase. The boss is now going to go from left to right. The invis is going to throw him off. I don't have a lot of, of ammo, but uh, I've got enough that... Uh, that I, I can put a little bit on them. I miss I missed. It would have been helpful if, if I'd have, I'd, you know, went for the four crits. So now I've, I've gone invis. We're hoping that I can't really, I can't really go and dodge and get my, my smoke back. So we'll just look and see where he's went. Did he go over the other side? He's coming over here. Here he comes. So I'll dodge to go invis, and I'll dodge next to him to get get my smoke. Because obviously, I don't mind burning two dodges, because with my mobility, I'll get my dodges back faster. You can see there. Now, another thing I didn't do, which I could have, uh, your smoke debuffs the champion. And it's a reasonable debuff. I never, ever used it, because I was more interested... And keeping my melee or smoke for invis purposes because he will just keep moving and, and, and what you get sometimes as uh, what you get sometimes is when you go invis he loses where you are and he'll start shooting at nothing and you get a chance to get to the other side and start doing damage so what I end up doing uh, at some point through this is smoking and then going around the front, I stopped coming through here because th that's what was a, 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 a certain point I, th I must have realized. My bush jump, because uh, enemies in Destiny are attracted by noise. So when you, uh, when you bush jump, see he should be coming around here now, he should have helped me bush. Yep, he's coming around, so I will dodge. So you see there, he kept going even though I'd left. 
I'll throw my grenade, go, go back through here. Now I'm not bush jumping, which is good, because that is what will attract attract him. It's it, whatever it is. I, I, you know, I've I've known for quite some time that, that the enemies in Destiny are are noise activated. So as I say, I I do get into a bit of a routine. Uh, obviously, I'm not in it yet. So now that I've done that double bush jump, he will know I've come over this side. There we go. See, he's just moving away because he helped me bush jump inside. So what I'll do is I'll smoke. Go and dodge next to him. And now he, he'll just keep... He won't come. He doesn't know I'm not there because there was no noise. And I'll get another shot on him. I'm going to be honest. The super didn't really... Super didn't really do too much so now I've done the thing I dodge done the thing he he doesn't know where I am he's got no clue you know he's still jumping away now that I've shot him he'll come back throw my grenade go back through here now he knows I've left he can hear the bush jump he should start making his way back over yep he heard the bush jumping so the idea is as I say there we go smoke dodge he's got no idea so that is the plan is to is to uh, the plan is to to smoke and then get round the other side but I just kept I, I, it must have been really late on that I was that I, that I got into that Maybe I was maybe I was doing it different. Maybe I was just smoking from one side and going round. As long as I don't bush jump, he'll just stay there. You know, the minute I shoot at him, the minute I become visible, and the minute I start shooting at him, see, I'm just kind of head glitching him. Yeah, that's that must have been what I was doing. As long as it's it's it, you know, I must have just yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm 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 smoking at one side. See, now I've got to go all the way down because because I didn't bush jump, he's not running. Throw the grenade at him, get some uh, hip fire shots. Now I'll smoke. Dodge. You know, I, with, with the whole uh, with the whole audio sound activated thing, you'd have thought that the smoke would activate him because he would hear. You'd hear you doing the slam with the smoke. And just run through. Smoke and go back round. Find out where he is. Here he comes. Yeah, the smoke doesn't even activate him. So again, it, you're just you're just it's it's really safe, you know. It's really safe doing like this. As long as he's firing his bombs, this is the this is the way to remember it. You, use, you can use your super, I mean, I don't know how many people are really going to be trying this as a solo, but even in a fire team, uh, taking out the, the smaller ads in this in this last section, in every section really, it's, it's quite key, it's quite important, because then you can move unhindered. You, know, you see the boss, he's not got a lot left. Hip fire in the sky burners has really eaten into his health. And then I can, I can, uh, I'll just dodge, get my smoke back, grenade him, do some hip fire. I've had it as well where he teleports, I think we've all had it. And you just got to be very careful and don't leave it too late to get out of there because he does have a stomp mechanic and he will stomp you, although it's quite a, a delayed stomp. So I'll just dodge. I didn't go right round there because he's just blind firing. So I can tell you right now, I'm just going to keep hip firing. Keep doing a little bit of damage here and there. You can see I've almost got my super. Once I get just about, not long after I get my super, we're going to move into the mid. I'm going to hit him with my super, which doesn't kill him. I was quite surprised. I thought it would have. Uh, 
You see here, I'm going to fire both my, both my super shots. Never quite killed them, but now the hit fire will. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the solo on uh, Proven Grounds Grandmaster. Thank you very much for watching. I know this was a long one. Uh, and I appreciate all the support. Uh, just remember in this one that taking your time is, that's the way to do it. Just be safe in everything you do. Thanks a lot for watching. As I've said, I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope this helps you guys get your clears on it. Take it easy. Stay hydrated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.